G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, bit of a different background because I now live in Melbourne. So that's um, a little bit of exciting news. I live with old mate Connor Rogers. So get excited for some more C Rog content. But I did ask a couple of videos ago for you guys to send in some video questions so I could answer them. But without wasting any more seconds, it is now time for Q&A time with Kados. It's not with Brados. It's Q&A time with Kados. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's go. Hi, my question is, do you know any football players personally from school or when you were young or anything? That's a really good question. So, I went to Oberon High School and when I was in year seven, Paddy Dangerfield had already got drafted but stayed back in Geelong for a year to do year 12. A couple of other names who went to our school uh, was Taya Miles, who plays for the Hawks now. And there was also Jermaine Jones, who was a couple of years younger than us. I think he left our school when he was in year nine or 10. There was a stage there where he, him and his mates would come play down ball with us. It'd get really, really competitive. Um, you know, I'd compete, but I wasn't the best. I miss the down ball days. Hi, Caden. Uh, who's, for your upcoming Q&A, who's your favorite Essendon player? Andrew McGrath or Kobe Much. Um, yeah. If you could be any famous person, who would it be? Easiest question I've ever received in the world, I'd love to be Harry Styles. Genuinely love the swagger on the bloke. I love his fashion sense, love the kit. The hair does plenty. Um, and just a confident geezer, so yeah, easy. I'd, I'd, I'd want to be Harry Styles. Which player in the AFL do you hate the most? Sam Kerridge from the Blues really annoys me. Another person who probably plays similar to another D is um, Jed Lamb. He reminds me a lot of Tommy Bug, but when they're not on your team, they're annoying, so. Who is the greatest player you've seen live? Greatest AFL player I've ever seen live is Liam Jarrah. We were so bad, and that bloke could do things that I've never seen before, and I, I really doubt I'll ever see again. Why do you call Geelong supporters one of a kind? If you go down to Simmons and just sit in the stands, um, I think you'll agree that they're one of a kind. Take that however you will. Thoughts on the Bev Show, Kados? First of all, that bloke's hair is not what I'm going to get to because I'm going to get the trim soon, but I rate it. I rate the hair, big fella. Um, the Bev Show, oh, it's, it's as good as it gets. It's probably the best thing that should be on TV at the moment. Probably outrates the footy show. Probably outrates the front bar. Um, nah, Bev, I love his passion. When will you play Twisty 3 on AFL Evolution? Like, it's been so long. Me and Twisty are going to be playing AFL Evolution very soon. Might not be a YouTube video. I might hop on one of his live streams and we'll play like six or seven games and really find out who's the best AFL Evolution player. But my people are talking to his people. Hey Caden, my question is how long does it generally take you to come up with all the words for the footy parodies that you do? Depends. So the cricket parody, I sort of had ball tampa ooh nah nah just in my head. So then I just put together some ordinary lyrics and <laughs> slapped it up in a day. The 2017 parody, it just took me like three weeks. Like I was just sitting there, I don't know, I just couldn't think of anything funny enough. But um, yeah, Hawks 0-4, 2016 probably took two or three days. What would you do if you weren't a YouTuber? That's a good question, but I sort of don't think I am a YouTuber. Um, which might sound silly to you guys, but YouTube for me is a part-time thing at the moment. I wish it was a full-time thing, because um, that would be sick. But at the moment, it's just, it's one of the things I do. I do want to get into radio. At this point in time, I'm sort of enjoying this more than radio, so I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep slapping up videos every couple of weeks, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Any Fortnite Battle Royale gameplay coming soon? I've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently. I've, I've even had dreams of, like, building. Fortnite things, so that's how much Fortnite I've been playing recently. I'm still ordinary, you know, in the one-on-ones, I get the shoddy out, but, you know, I can't, I can't, I still panic. I can't build. Um, I'm tempted to do some Fortnite, we'll have to see. So I know it's a little bit old, but I need to hear what you think it is, Yanni or Laurel. This will determine my life. Once again, great hair, quality hair by this young fella. Um, for me, it was, Yanni the first time I heard it, and then for the rest it was Laurel. Hey Kados, have you ever thought about releasing any merch? I have thought about merch. 
I don't know how people do it. Like, you need to be an organised individual or a team to get merch out, and I'm, I'm neither. Yeah, I'll keep researching it. I'm hoping, you know, maybe by the end of this year, but we'll see. Hey, Kados, big fan, mate. Just wondering, a uh, quick question: If you had any favourite uh, fully memorabilia? Yeah, so I've got um, jumpers from years ago. Um, and I've got most of them signed, so whenever the D's would come and play at Simmons, I would wait out the front before the game and just get signatures from all the players. Um, but probably my favourite jumper that I ever got was the D's red clash top with a blue flame. Um, absolutely frothed that when mum came home and gave it to me. I've even got an old training top that dad had back in the 80s, I think it was, back in the Robert Flower days with the Royal Melbourne Blue, which is why the D's have the uh, the Royal Melbourne Clash Top. So that's why I love it so much, because it's so, it's retro. It's a little bit retro. Do you think Collingwood will be finals contenders? Yes, I do. I think the Pies will make the finals. Next Monday is a huge game. G'day, mate. Uh, just for that Q&A, just wondering, like, how old were you when you started going for Melbourne? It's a good question. Um, since I can remember, really, I barely remember the 2000 grand final. I remember two things. Dad and I were at the front, sticky taping a Melbourne flag to the front veranda. And another thing was mum made a red and blue Melbourne cake. Um, so yeah, pretty much since I can remember, I went for the D's because of Dad. Why are you shit at goal kicking? Great question. Um, really constructive question. I don't think I'm that bad at kicking the footy. Now I'm going to put together an absolute montage to prove that I'm not that bad. Let's go. Bolt takes it short, and the rub salt for the wound is the opponent McDonald who kicks the goal. Alright guys, I want to say thank you to everyone who sent in the questions. I had over 200 Snapchats. I do appreciate all the support. Um, I can't wait to go to the D's Pies on Monday. That'll be a really good clash. And I should see you guys before the end of the week with another video. Cheers.